Matt here, Home Farm Ideas, and uh, today when I came out, I um, I was looking at my sump tank over there, and I noticed that uh, my water level is unusually low, um, and so I had a look around my system and my Dutch buckets that are connected to my aquaponic system as well, uh, and I didn't see any leaks in all these other beds, but I came over here to my pepper plants, and I see two problems here. Number one, I just unplugged this and plugged the water back in down there to go to the drain pipe. Um, but this was almost full of water. So the issue we're having here is the root system has just gotten too big and it's plugged up the drain. <clears throat> so I got to do something about it. Um, and then also I noticed back here, this was one of the buckets that I actually had a problem with. And I don't know if you guys can see this, but my um, my glue here has come away from the bucket um, and normally it wasn't having a problem because um, the root system wasn't clogging this drain but now it is so now the water had a chance to really sit on this area and just kind of um, start to move this sealant away it's just aquarium um, sealant stuff so anyways I'm gonna need to remove this bucket and I'm thinking should I save it because <laughs> I mean it's got peppers still coming in from the top here I mean you got all these peppers that are coming in you know um, but in doing the work right now it's going to basically put this thing into shock because it's grown it's you know it's tall it's got nice sized peppers at the bottom here I mean, look at that thing. So, I do have more peppers than I need though, because I have all these, okay? And they all have peppers on them. And then I, on the my side yard over there, I have another, almost the same amount of plants. So, and they're all producing peppers as well. So what I think I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna take this sucker out. So, I wanna fix the leak in the bucket. Uh, I won't do that on video today, but I'm gonna take this out and I'm gonna clean it out and show you guys basically how I do it. So I've decided what I'm gonna do. Sadly, I'm gonna cut that up. I'm basically gonna cut it all the way down to the stumps. I'm gonna collect all the peppers obviously because we can still use them. I'm gonna take this pepper plant and I'm gonna put it over here. See, this is the beauty of Dutch buckets. You can just unplug that from the system, move it over to here and plug it right back in. You can't do that in, in any um, you know raised bed situation or anything like that. So that's one, uh, one of the benefits of aquaponics um, and Dutch buckets in particular. So let's go ahead and let's start getting all the peppers off this. And then I'm going to move that to there when I remove this and I'm gonna basically drain the pellets. I'll show you all this stuff, so. One other thing that I did wanna mention is that this one actually has a string right there going up to my roof. So that's why I want to move that other Dutch bucket over to here because that other one doesn't have a string and I'm lazy. Well, I'm not lazy, I'm just being, you know, being lazy. So anyway, uh, I'm going to cut all this down and then I'm going to move that other bucket. Believe me, this hurts me more than this plant. Oh, I missed a pepper. So it's a good producer. Man, this thing, I've, I've been totally stuffed on these peppers. And as you can see, the plant is super healthy right now. I mean, it's it's doing really well. Uh, I know some people might say, oh, you know, you should have did this or that. Um, you know, I, with plants, you can do, you can go through all the motions of trying to save your plant, but it's just as easy as actually starting another plant, um, if not easier. So you gotta go through a lot of trouble to get it to a healthy stage. But once it's produced for you, it's, you know, it's done basically. Um, I mean, you can still get more peppers on it and everything, but basically I'm not gonna put in all that effort just to save one plant when I have a bunch more. So let's get this thing chopped down. There we 
we go. That's pretty much it. Uh, I'm going to clean off those leaves. And I left the stumps here because now I have handles to shake the uh, pellets off or the uh, clay pebbles off of or the hydrogen. So let's get to it. It's like it never happened. All right, so there we go. It's out and I purposely do not fill up my buckets. Um, I leave about uh, three to four inches actually um, because of this very thing. I've, I've had tomatoes in these things before and basically they, when you're trying to pull this stuff out, it just goes all over the place. It probably still will with this as well. You know, one thing I wanted to have a look at was the drain hole here. I'm gonna see if there's any, I don't see anything here. Um, it was definitely clogging though. So I'm thinking I'm getting crowding around the roots. So let's go ahead and let's get this out. Yeah, this is a huge root system because it feels like it's taken over the whole bucket. Yeah, it grew through this bag and everything. I put a bag in there in hopes that it wouldn't drain the or uh, cover the holes, but whew. wow, yeah, that's a that's a good root system. Okay, nice and healthy. Mind you, no soil, okay? And it's organic. So I'm gonna get all that off and then I'm gonna start dumping in here. I'll probably just do the, the getting all that off later, but I'm gonna start dumping the pellets in here. I'm not too worried about, um, you know, uh, too many roots because I do have worms in my system and they'll take care of uh, the roots, but I don't want any root balls. Um, and I wanna check that drain hole as best I can. So. It's important the way I dump it here. So let me turn it around. Okay. And now let's go ahead and let's start dumping. Yeah, sorry about the, sh the shade, you guys. Here, let me uh let me move this camera. All right. Well, that's better. Yeah, hardly any roots so far. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I think I just found the culprit. And I think it was clogging. I was trying to do it slow. But yeah, there's definitely roots around the tap of this thing. Or the bottom of this thing. So, let's check this out. Whoa. <laughs> there's your problem. Yeah, this thing is. So... The bags, uh, the uh, the bags don't work. Oh, look at that guy! <laughs> See that? He's a beautiful one too. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave him in there though, because I want him to eat the issues. So yeah, these these um, paint strainers, they're pretty much good for nothing. Don't don't buy them, you guys. Um, that's just my opinion. Somebody might have better luck with them. I don't. And with the Dutch buckets, there's got to be a way around this. I mean, you know what? I already got good growth out of it, though. That's the one thing. So you're going to be fighting um, basically these things clogging up those holes. Unless you make bigger holes maybe in the buckets. Um, but it's almost at the point where it's, it's really not worth. It's really not worth making uh, huge changes like that. Um, because by the time it clogs up these drains i mean you're you're ready to har you've already done a bunch of harvest so anyway that is the video you guys i hope you liked it i know i like making it in this blistering hot sun thank you thank you very much guys no so um <laughs> so we got the dutch bucket changed out with the new one and everything's going good uh, i'm gonna fix this other bucket over here and um, over here, I'm going to fix that problem. I may just do new buckets because I've had them up, I think, for two years now. And uh, I know one of them felt like it was going to crack. So 
Uh, they don't last long in the sun. So anyway, you guys, God bless you. If you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. If you uh, want to get video updates on my Dutch buckets or anything else that I'm doing in my aquaponics system or in my garden, and um, hit that bell icon that way you get all my video updates. All right. God bless you guys, and like always, peace.